You know, I get a lot of pushback about starting businesses that so many businesses fail, that they're not successful, yet I have the same people who feel that they're going to invest in cryptocurrency, they're going to invest in a stock, and they're gonna make all of this money. And it is, one of the things I'm trying to do is give you guys knowledge. Using myself as the laboratory, I went from being homeless, I went from having bad credit, I went from being in a very bad financial situation to working my way up to paying cash, $200,000 for two cars, having a lot of money in the bank, making a lot of money per month with no investments. No investments. This morning I was running the numbers and fun fact, uh, Mac Daddy Autos LLC is live and active. After I get off this treadmill, I'm gonna get the EIN. Then I'm gonna get my banking. Let me go ahead and tell you, because um, this is the theory. I don't know if it's gonna happen until I actually get in the marketplace, but I'm itching to get started. So there's a place that I'm gonna rent and I'm gonna try to get my uh, broker's license there. See if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna start this car rental business this month. I'm not going to wait because essentially waiting, I won't get this thing started until June or July. So I'm like, you know what? You can get a good deal. You can get a good deal and as long as the numbers um, match up. As long as the numbers work, I can get this thing started. So my goal is to get this started this month. Uh, I got to go pull on the coattails of the Wells Fargo banker he hasn't emailed me, but essentially I got 150,000. I may add, look, just think of this plan. I ran out some numbers. So if I invested $150,000, right? And I bought 30 cars, because that'd get me 30 cars. And I added a little more money to get an office and for additional expenses, say 10,000. So we put 160. And then we got these 30 cars on the road in let's say June, you know, because I started in May, but June would be the first month that all 30 cars will be making money. So if I can work it the way I want to work it, these 30 cars will make $27,000. So that $27,000 <clears> is the return on the 160. You know that $27,000 is greater than 10%? 10% would be a $15,000 return in a year <clears throat> on 150, 10 percent. So we're getting close to a 20 percent return on the money in six weeks. 20 percent return on my money in six weeks if everything goes the way I want it to go. So what I'm going to do is take that 20 percent return and let's say I do 27,000, I'm gonna go out and buy five more cars, put them on the streets. And then the next month, I'll make um, like 34, 35,000. Then I'm gonna take that money and go out and buy six cars. And I'm gonna repeat this and repeat this for a year. So based upon my calculations, if things go the way, I should have 120, 120, 140 cars in a year. Then I'm renting. Now, 
what I'm going to do is take another 150,000 and I'm going to buy 15 $10,000 cars to sell. I'm going to run the car rental business and I'm going to be selling cars at the same time. And I'm just going to live off my YouTube money. Well, yeah, YouTube money <clears throat> and allow the online course money to stack up in the bank because I'm going to be pulling this from that money, the additional 150. And within a year, I can, you know, just buying and reinvesting back in the business, buying, reinvesting back in the business <clears throat> within <clears throat> one year. I should be at 150 to 200 thousand dollars a month in revenue. Now with the rentals, once I get up to 150 rental cars, I don't really have to buy anymore. I don't have to buy anymore. And then <clears throat> what's going to happen <clears throat> with the car business is I'm going to flip those first uh, 15 into because essentially uh, I calculated that would allow me to buy six additional cars so I sell those 15 cars then I will have 21 cars <clears throat> and then I would sell those cars and I would get 30 cars so in six months I should have 50 to 60 ten thousand dollar cars Plus the rental cars. Because I'm going to be doing both at the same time. And essentially, within a year, I will have the revenue and cash flow to start buying $20,000 cars. And that's a, a really good spot to be because, you know, essentially, um, once you get to a certain price point, and I was just sitting there looking. So, within let, let's go ahead and say three hundred thousand dollar investment so i'm going to be getting annualized return of 120 percent from a business a competitive business there's a lot of people in the car business and a lot of people getting in the car business every day and essentially, I'm just looking, you know, because th this is the value of having cash. Because right now, I feel, you know, based upon my video, the repo man got canceled. When the real marketplace economics kick in, it's going to be crazy i feel that it's all going to kick in at once i feel that the repo man is going to be in full force i feel the foreclosure man is going to be in full force and once the foreclosure thing starts it's going to take years for that to work its way through the system years so we can be dealing with the impact of COVID until like 2030. That's crazy, right? But for those who have cash, the ability, because essentially, once I get to, like say 150 cars, uh, I'm gonna keep pushing and pushing and pushing, right? Because I may rent these cars for a year, which means that they're gonna make me almost three times what I paid for them. And at the end of a year, I'm going to sell them as a buy here, pay here car. So every month, I'm gonna take 20 cars. It's like, two. give me $2,000. 2,000 times 20 is 40K. And I'm gonna hit you over the head for 350, 400 bucks a month for 24 months. On the asset that is already paid for, that has already made money and it's gonna make more money. And then I'm gonna take, um, 5,000 again and just keep buying cars. So I'll make 40, 40, 
thousand the first month that I start this. Then the second month, we got 20 cars at 350, 7,000, so that's 47,000. Because the next month, I'm gonna do it again. And that'll be another 40,000 plus 7,000 for the payments. Then the next month, I'm gonna do it again. And it's gonna be uh, 40 plus $14,000, let's see, yeah. Uh, about $14,000 in payments, so that's gonna be $54,000. I'm, I'm gonna be running a lot of stuff concurrently. I'm gonna be running uh, a car rental business. I'm gonna be running a car sales business. And I'm gonna be running a buy here, pay here business. So that's gonna be three business models out of Mac Daddy Autos. And based upon my projections, I'll be able to get this business up to, in about two years, 300,000 per month revenue. 300, and I will be able to easily, easily take 100K per month and slide it in my pocket. Two years. Two years from scratch. That's better than fire. That's better than investing in stocks. That's better than investing in Bitcoin or Arethium or Dogecoin. Two years, it's gonna take me to get this, this business to that level. And also, the car rental fleet it's going to have a actual asset value of about 750,000 and they're going to be paid off. So 750,000 for the used cars and probably have a hundred new cars on the lot. So that's going to represent, let's say I had a hundred, uh, ten thousand dollar cars on the lot um, each 10 is a hundred K so that's a million so between the car rental fleet the new car fleet and not even getting to the twenty thousand dollar cars we've got like one million one point seven so we got two million dollars in inventory Yeah, two, two million in inventory. Cash flowing at three hundred thousand per month. I'm a, I'm an asset millionaire in two years just off the car business. Two years. And essentially, I'm got a plan to hire people, train people, because essentially, I got to train people. I gotta have people who go to auction and buy. Cause if I, if I don't do that, I'm gonna be changed. So essentially within five years, this business will be able to operate without much involvement of me. And in five years, half a million a month, 600,000 per month. And I would be able to slide 200k in my pocket per month and you know I got all these folks out here talking about like this is a competitive business it's a competitive business but because I'm able to look at it because essentially many car guys like you you get addicted to making money how you make money. So if you got in the car business and you were making money selling cars and it worked out for you, you can't see nothing else. But I see the, the, the business model of buying a $5,000 car, renting it for a year, 
and then doing it as a buy here car after the car has earned the $5,000 back plus additional revenue, I can't lose. Even if someone buys the car, drive it off the lot, and they crash it, and they don't pay me, I will have what's called a net loss, but I won't actually have an actual cash basis loss. I won't lose any money. I'll just lose money on paper. Like no one on YouTube is talking to you guys like this because they don't think like this. They don't do like this and they've not had businesses. Uh, I am really chomping at the bit because this business is fully scalable and it isn't dependent upon an algorithm. Like I've made millions of dollars off of YouTube, millions. I've had some really, last year's best year ever, best year ever. But I've had ups and downs because based on the algorithm, you know, there's been a few times YouTube has tried to kill this channel. And I like the fact that I'm gonna be able to make six figures a month off a business that isn't dependent upon an algorithm isn't dependent upon a popularity contest. In five years, get this business to where I want it to be in five years. And also, I'm going to, uh, once I get the bank account set up, that should be next week, transfer the money there, I'm going to start buying cars and putting them on the higher, higher car tor uh, platform. For Uber, DoorDash people, Uber Eats, and then we'll start advertising. Hey, rent this car for Uber Eats. Rent this car for DoorDash. Rent this car for Instacart. And I'm gonna have it 25, 30 bucks a day, something that they can do, because if they're out there doing 100 bucks a day after DoorDash fees, they can afford to do $30 for a car. And this is the killer part. Guess who I'm gonna sell these cars to is a buy here, pay here car. They've rented this car for a year, right? And then at the year mark, I'm just like, hey, if you give me 1500 bucks, then you can get this same car and your car, your cost per month is gonna be cut in half. So that's more money in your pocket by buying this car on a 24 month contract. The people who are renting the cars don't have good credit, already, already know who I'm gonna sell these cars to. And this is the thing. Um, I'm gonna set it up where we're gonna do a credit builder program. Like you rent a car from me, then you get into this car, I'm gonna report it to Equifax, TransUnion, Experian, and it's gonna be on there, Mac Daddy Autos. It's gonna be your car loan. I'm gonna report that, report your payments and stuff. And then we're going to do some joint venture partners because I'm actually gonna to try to talk Wells Fargo back into their secure credit card product. Um, try to set up a partnership with self and roll these people into better credit in the future. I'm just not gonna be a buy here, pay here, because essentially, I mean, if you have a thousand cars on the road in a buy here, pay here uh, schematic, and I'm looking at like, the, they're, they're charging these people 450, 500 bucks a month. 500 bucks a month is $6,000 a year. That's $12,000 on a 24 month contract. So you buy the car for five, you rent it out for a year, and these would be older cars, so I'm not going to try to hit them over the head for 500 bucks, but 350, 400, bringing back the 350 car note, 
350 times 10 is 3,500 and 700 is $4,200 a year is $8,400. So I have a car that I paid 5,000 for that I've rented out for a year. I've made $7,000. So a $2,000 profit on this car, okay? Then you get a $1,500 down payment. So now we're at 8,500 profit on this car. And then they pay 350 a month for two years. I made $18,000 off a of $5,000 spin. Much better than stocks. Much better than cryptocurrency. Much better than Bitcoin. And I, I keep trying to explain to you guys that this is the way you want to go. And I have someone who doesn't know how to do math. Uh, he said he was getting 50 and 90 percent returns off Apple. That player, that wasn't happening. That wasn't happening. But essentially, once I get this thing set up, get the people hired, get it going. Five years from now, I'm going to be able to pull. 250. 300,000 per month out of this business. And you know, I'm trying to think. It took me 2009 to 2018, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 it took me eight years to do 250 a month on the internet so i'm going to be able to do something similar in the real world in four to five years half the time you know one 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 you want to know why because i'm starting off with some money i'm not starting off with credit and see, one of the things that I, I got to sit down and talk to this Wells Fargo banker about, because it's not on the website. I don't know if they got rid of it. They still have the secured business credit card, which I'm going to get. But I'm going to be building business credit from jump. I'm not going to do what I did with this business. I, I would have been probably at $3 million in business credit if I had started way back versus just seven months ago. Um, so I'm going to run this off cash. I can do everything I just told you in this video off cash, no loans, no credit, just straight up cash and flip that cash over and over and over to in two years. I'm at, I can pull six figures out the business every month and leave enough money in the business to keep the business operating so i can pull out 1.2 million a year in two years two years and slide that off in my pocket two years because i'm going to have the car rental business i'm going to have the buy here pay here business i'm going to have the ten thousand dollar car business and i'm going to have the twenty thousand dollar car business because once i get up to um, 200k because he here's the thing I'm probably never gonna take 100k a month out the business I mean I'm probably gonna keep my salary at 350 that's more than enough money for me to do what I need to do I mean at three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year I can buy a million dollar house easy it's like four to five thousand per million so I could buy a $3 million house on 350. Easy. Easy. Uh, so what's probably going to happen is once I get to my rental car fleet of 150 cars and then start shifting those into because I will replace because essentially uh, what I can do over two to three years is upgrade the business. 
because what I can do is just, you know, because I'm going to start off with the $5,000 cars because I know that's going to work because the price point is going to be something that people can afford. And then I may shift it to $10,000 cars where the, the payment's going to be $450, $500 per month. Um, like, let's say a $10,000 car and I pay $10,000 for it and I rent it for a year and let's say I get 12, because essentially uh, more expensive cars you can rent for more. I ran a model where I had a car at 85 bucks a day. If I rented it half a month, it would do 1,200. So let's say I rent that $10,000 car for a year and I make 14,000. So I get my original 10,000 back plus a $4,000 profit. Then I put it on the buy here, pay here lot, and I say, give me $3,000 down, okay? So now they're gonna pay 500 a month, which is $6,000 a year, which is 12,000. So I've made 14,000, I made 4,000 profit, plus 3,000, that's a $7,000 profit and then they give me 12,000 I made $19,000 off my $10,000 in three years and just run that that model because I can just upgrade to that and I'm, I'm probably I've been advised not to do the $20,000 cars as a buy here, pay here type deal. Because at that point, um, you know, it, it just depends. But I'm starting this next week. I don't have my dealer's license, but I can go to Craigslist and I've been looking and I can get some cars that I can buy, you know, for 5,000 and rent them out to Uber people, DoorDash, Instacart people who, who need some money who need to get on the road, rent that out to them and get started before I get my dealer's license. And then when I get my dealer's license, I will take another 150 and go buy 15 $10,000 cars. And then, cause I think the profit margin on those is three to seven, depending on how you sell it. Depending on how you sell it. Cause I've been doing a lot of research but yeah, you know, I'm going into a very competitive business with an internet based mindset because the guys on the internet are all on Turo and they, I mean, essentially within a year, because, uh, and this is one of the reasons that you want to have multiple streams of income. Because currently I have uh, the online course business, I have the YouTube business, I have the consulting business, right? So I could just um, stop paying myself $30,000 a month and live off my YouTube money. My YouTube money will easily cover all my bills. I mean, essentially that's why the money has been stacking up in my personal checking account because I ain't spending it. I really don't spend a lot of money. <clears throat> so I'm going to probably invest because essentially this is going to get me to the apartment building much quicker. And also this is something else too. I'm doing my research. I have noticed that a lot of car dealers have been in business 30, 40 years. So I can go ahead and set this up and automate it where I get people to go buy cars, to sell cars, to run the dealership, and I'm just chilling. That's my five-year plan. Five-year plan, have to, have to hire people, pay them well, and essentially they'll be running the dealership and it'll be kind of like an apartment complex 
except there'll be more moving parts and they wouldn't require my involvement in some aspects, but I'll, once I get it set up the way I want it set up, I'll go in the dealership one day a week. I want you to think, if you retired and you got a job that requires you to work eight hours a week, you can could, you could easily do that. Uh, I, my girlfriend doesn't believe that I'm 54 years old. She, she just like doesn't believe it. And when you are actually doing what you want to do, because I generally don't have a lot of stress in my life. I, I just don't. I don't have a lot of stress in my life. And that is because I'm, I'm kind of retired, but I'm not retired. You know what I'm saying? Because I get to do what I want in life. I get to create. I get to build. I get to um, enjoy life the way that I want to. And I'm really excited because essentially I, I got to go over here and if I can rent this spot and I can get my dealer's license, I could uh, low key sell 10, 15 cars from that spot a month. No problem. Because 10, 15 cars is not going to um, really take up that much space. Now, one of the things is uh, I'm going to put it in my lease because, you know, I've rented with these folks before and I had to break my lease and they didn't really, you know, they rented out the offices and they kept going. So we will see. We will see how this goes down. But um, one of the things I want you guys to understand is if you're in income da zone, danger zone number one, you need to start a business. There are so many businesses you can start for 500 bucks, eBay, Etsy, Craigslist, um, Facebook Marketplace, and just flip. Because essentially, I'm going to parlay this $300,000 into to $2 million worth of inventory. And once I get to that level, I'm going to just start taking a little money off the top. Plus, I will be in the position to get any car that I want wholesale. Because, you know... Uh, or, you, you, honestly, you know the reason I only have two cars? I only have a two-car garage. So the next house is probably going to have a four-car, six-car garage. That's just me. That's how I roll. So um, I'm probably going to have some nice, nice machines up in the garage. You know? Because I'll be in the position to go to auction and get these high-priced cars for cheap. I'll be able to, you know, I, I'm probably going to keep my X5. I love my X5. And I'm probably going to keep the Porsche because I, I went ahead, I've uh, tuned it, I put on high flow uh, cats. Um, it's super fast, zero to 60 in probably like 2.4 seconds. Um, it sounds mean. I got some wheels on the way. Probably keep that. Keep the X5. And probably buy two more fun cars. Because th this is the thing. I don't buy stuff I don't like. I really wanted that Porsche. I really wanted that X5. Not a big fan of the new X5 and that... Um, transformer like grill not a fan don't know maybe it'll grow on me in a few years but essentially i'm gonna put myself in the position to take that three hundred thousand and build a multi-million dollar business in two years doing you know car rentals because essentially in the video that we're in this uh, weird economy, the repo man got canceled. 
we're in a very, very strange, propped up economy. And here's, here's something that's really interesting. Let's say I'm five years in, right? And I don't want to do the car business anymore. I got like $4 million in inventory between the rental car business and the new dealership. And I just decide to sell everything, right? Let's just say I have a change of heart and then I go out and get six million dollars in dividend stock that's going to pay forty thousand per million so that's two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year in retirement income i was just like i don't want to do anything i don't want to be bothered i will give myself that option two hundred forty thousand a year which is going to be twenty 20,000 a month. I'll have a house that'll be paid off. I'll have cars. Everything I have will be paid off. I could easily live on that and live large. Live large. And that's just one theory. That's just, and this is five years to do this. Five years. And this is why I stress upon you guys you can work harder for your money than your money can work for you. If I took that $300,000 and put it in stock and just put it in there and didn't add any more money, we're looking at, I don't have my phone. We're looking at 30, 40 years for that to I don't even know if that without a contribution would that even turn into a million in 30 years. I don't even know that. So it, it, it's wild, right? It's really wild. So I'm gonna be setting up an office. Um, there's one office place I thought about and this would be kind of like ninja, doing it like ninja style, right? Um, and then I may rent a warehouse. I may rent a warehouse. A warehouse that, you know, 50,000 square foot warehouse is gonna run me about 6,000 a month. But if it's the right warehouse, I can park the cars in there if it's got a big enough parking lot, you know, it just really, really depends on the situation. It, it just depends upon what's going down. But yeah, this gets started next week. Uh, I can literally, I could buy six or seven cars and put them in my driveway. It, it would be interesting. I could probably shoehorn, yeah, six, seven cars in my driveway and operate out of here if needed to be. But the goal is to buy my first car, get it in Mac Daddy Auto's name, get that going, get it registered, and get that bad boy on the road. Get that bad boy on the road. So, it's very interesting. Very interesting, the things that you can do, the things that you can set up, the things that you can create in today's economy, if you have some money. Uh, the vast majority of content on YouTube is trying to show you what you can do with no money. And it's valid. There are many businesses you can get into with no money, but here's the thing. I'm going to take this 300,000 and turn it into millions in two years. You're still gonna be trying to get to your first six figure year in five or six years, starting with no money. That's the issue. 
you can do it. Uh, I got in the storage auction business. I had over $200,000 in the bank when I got in the storage auction business. That's why I was able to ramp up so quick and become a big dog. So, you know, and something else. I'm thinking about starting the apparel business as well. And uh, we will see how that goes. We will see how that goes. Um, go ahead, get some Instagram influencers, get that rolling, get a Shopify site, see how that goes. Um, corporate citizen wear, something like that. I haven't fully fleshed out the concept or thought it out, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So essentially what I want you guys to understand and I want you, what I want you to know and acknowledge is you can do this. You got to think you can do it first. You got to think that you can do it first and you got to take action and you got to keep taking action. You got to keep taking action. So I'm going to show you that I can take $300,000 invested in the business and make millions in two years. Whereas if I took that same money and invested it in uh, Bitcoin, like 300,000 would get me six Bitcoins. I don't think that in two years, those six Bitcoins were gonna be worth two million. I feel that, that that phase is over. I feel that the folks who got in, like, I swear to God, I wish I had bought 5,000 coins when I bought my 20. I swear to God, I, man, man, if I knew what I knew now. If only I had, if only I had known but I didn't know, and it, no one knew. Everyone's just guessing and hoping. And a lot of people got lucky. But yeah, this is going to be really intriguing how we set this up, how we get this going. And um, yeah, so I'm going to start, get this thing started, get it rolling. Start buying cars, keep looking for a location because essentially I can start the car rental business now without the dealer's license. And I can, because let, let's say uh, I, I get a location and I file for the dealer's license. They don't like the location. The city doesn't approve my business license. I got to find another spot. And I'm perfectly cool with having two spots because like I said, I want to get up to 150 cars in the rental business. So, you know, like I've broken the lease before, but it's just getting started doing what I can do where I can do it versus just waiting because this whole notion of just um, waiting until I get a car lot to get my dealer's license, this thing could start in June, July, August, wasting time, man, wasting time. So I can go ahead and get this thing started really, really quickly. Um, with the LLC, with the um, business checking account and yeah, just get this start. And like, let's say in the June, I have 30 cars and they've made me 25 to 30,000. And let's say I made 30,000. In five months, I got my 150 back and I still have the assets that are making money. If I chose to take it out, but I'm not gonna take it out because each month I'm gonna take the profits and buy more cars. So in about the way I planned it out in six months, I should have 60, maybe 70 cars. 
and I can play around with the rent rates because essentially just to get rolling, I'm going to probably start them off at 25 bucks a day just to get them out the door and get them rolling and then raise rents once I have some stuff going on. But I mean, essentially, if I just bought 30 cars and 30 cars made me $30,000 per month, if I just wanted to live off that, that's, I've done that in six weeks. So I've created $30,000 a month of income in six weeks from scratch. From scratch. Six weeks. Six weeks. So all you folks who like, Glenn, you get old and you fall down and you have no investments. Really? Bruh, I had a heart attack. Spent four weeks in the hospital. Didn't work for five months. Did I lose my million dollar house? Nope. Did I lose my cars? Nope. Did my credit cards not go unpaid? Nope, because I didn't have nothing on them. So it's already happened. And for you clowns who feel that you're these investing geniuses, because um, you're, you're operating in the bull market, if you didn't know that. Everybody wins in the bull market, <laughs> even the idiots. It, it, it's crazy. But um, yeah, we're gonna do some stuff here. We're gonna set some stuff up. We're gonna build some stuff. We're gonna create some new energy. We're going to um, do some things a little differently. We're gonna set it up nicely. We're going to, um, yeah, we're gonna be cooking with some gas. I'm very, very excited. I'm really excited about this because um, essentially, how many people who are in the car rental business told you they wanted to get to 150 cars? 150 cars at $30 a day? That's, four, that's almost $5,000 a day. 5K a day. That's like 150,000 per month just from the car rental business at 150 cars. 150,000 per month. So I, I'm gonna do my projections and stuff and we, we get this thing started next week. Um, start buying cars. But first, what I gotta do, I already set up the LLC it's been approved by the state of Georgia. Get the business banking account going. Get the um, Wells Fargo secured credit card for that. Get that going. Because I'm ready. Ready to get started. Ready to do this. Ready to rumble. Because, man, this is the best thing, because how many people are teaching you how to start a business and actually start a business from scratch that they've never started before? It, it will give you all the nitty gritty details. I'm doing that. So if you want to be part of the art of holding, the link is below. You can get in. Price isn't going up until May. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.